An upstate man's car shot by another driver while on the road. It happened in Oconee County on Highway 24, and the sheriff's office is investigating. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith spoke to the victim. She's here now with his story. Nikkel. And he says it was quite the frightening experience, Tom, and the Oconee County Sheriff's Office says they're still trying to figure out exactly what happened Thursday morning. Highway 24. Probably about 5.30 in the morning. The same route Justin Powers always takes to work. I live in Anderson, and I was heading to Clayton, uh, Clayton, Georgia. Thursday morning, his friend Adam Dyer was in the front seat. We come up on a car up here in Townville. When their commute took a dramatic turn. I was probably a good 30, 40 feet from them. You know, they slam on brakes in front of me twice and just about come to a dead stop. Bauer says that's why he decided to pass. You know, I'm in the wrong for passing a double yellow line, but they slammed on brakes in front of me twice. And that's when he says the situation turned violent. So as soon as I get around them, I hear it sounds like a cannon go off beside, you know, beside a truck. The side Dyer was sitting on. I mean, it was loud. Um, like I said, I didn't know if they hit, hit the truck with something or what. And then I rolled down the window and I seen the bullet hole. And that's when I knew it was a gunshot. They pulled over and dialed 911. And called the police and, and reported everything. The Oconee County Sheriff's Office is investigating, and officials tell me they're not classifying this as a road rage case until they hear from that other driver. It's uh, like a two-door red Honda Accord. And they're hoping deputies find the car along with the man and woman inside. I was just on the way to work, and... Um, you know, it was very scary. God was definitely with us. You know, he was definitely watching over us. Power says he could only make out a partial plate number, and he's given those details to the authorities. Anyone with information is asked to contact the sheriff's office. Tom. All right, Nikkel, thanks for that. The sheriff's office says when encountering tension with other drivers, staying calm is important to help de-escalate the situation. Also, get away from that vehicle if possible. But if you feel threatened, call the police and relay a description of the other vehicle and its occupant.